uh, so come back again. Uh, so, in this now in this case Thibnet theorem actually states a linear two terminal circuit can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a voltage source V Thibnin in series with uh, your resistor R Thibnin that is your this circuit a V Thibnin right a, this is your uh, V Thibnin and this is your R Thibnin right this is your R Thibnin. So, where V Thibnin I told you it is open circuit voltage at the terminal we have to know how to obtain it and R Thibnin is input or equivalent resistance at the terminal when the independent sources are turned off. Right. So, we will see that how to obtain that with the open circuit voltage at the terminals 1 and 2 that at the terminals right and input or equivalent resistance at the terminals so when the independent your sources are turned off. So, all independent if it is a voltage source you have to short it if you have a current source you have to open it that is turn off and find out what is R Thibnin right. So, our major objective is now to find V Thibnin and R Thibnin that is the that you have to obtain. Now, go to this that means, figure in figure 4 this figure 4 point your uh, 1 8 are equivalent I write V th suppose two circuits in figure equivalent to this that is this is your linear two terminal uh, circuit that is your that means, this circuit uh, uh, this circuit if you if you take this one that uh, figure 4 this is figure 14 point 18 a this first upper one this 18 a. Now, if you try to find out that V Thibnin and R Thibnin then this circuit your represented like this this is linear two terminal circuit this is your uh, this is your V O C that is your uh, V Thibnin and this is your R Thibnin that is R input resistance right. So, linear two linear two terminal circuit this whole thing you have to solve keeping that all the sources uh, intact right. So, from where you will get V Thibnin or V O C and here linear circuit with all independent sources set equal to 0 that means, they have to be turned off and after that you find out what is your equivalent resistance R Thibnin right or R input uh, this uh, uh, looking from terminal 1 and 2 right and here also you have to find out your what you call V O C V Thibnin that also we can make V 1 to 1 positive to negative. So, also V 1 to this way you can make it. So, let me clear this. So, now let us examine the two cases. If the terminal 1 and 2 are open circuited that is by removing the load that means, if you if you make this terminal I am going to the this thing uh, if you open this for example, if you open this suppose this is disconnected if it is open this then load is disconnected that means, your I will be is equal to is equal to 0 right. If you open this I mean from terminal 1 and 2 this load is disconnected then I will be 0. So, let me clear it. So, again we will go back right. So, so that open circuit voltage across the terminal 1 to must be equal to the voltage source V Thibnin. Uh, so, so th this voltage across the terminal 1 to in must be equal to the voltage source V Thibnin in figure 4 point uh, 1 a or 1 8 b that is 18 b. See the two circuits are equivalent right. Similarly, the V Thibnin is the open circuit voltage across the terminal as shown in figure 19 a that is V Thibnin is equal to V O C. Right. Therefore, let me clear it here it is here it is right. Therefore, V Thibnin is equal to V O C. I mean if you disconnected the load you have disconnected the load from the terminal 1 and 2. Similarly, linear circuit for independent uh, when you will find out the input resistance or R Thibnin right then all the in this independent sources must be turned off right. So, in this case your again terminals 1 and 2 are open circuited with the load disconnected and turn off all the independent sources. So, when you will find out load load is disconnected and you turn off all the independent sources right. So, the input resistance or equivalent resistance of the dead circuit at the terminal 1 and 2 in figure 4.18 a must be equal to R Thibnin in figure 4.18 b right. 
since the two circuits are equivalent and R thibnin is the input resistance at the terminal 1 and 2, right. That means, when the independent sources are turned off as shown in figure, this the R, R thibnin will be R in. That means, idea actually here I am telling when I give you an example, you will be knowing everything. So, that means, in this case in the circuit 19 B that you just redraw read your uh, redraw the circuit by turning off all the independent sources and from looking from terminal 1 and 2 you find out what is the resistance R input or R thibnin right we call R input is equal to R thibnin right. So, that is why this is in language I have given this is in language I have given rather than going to the numerical directly. So, so, Thibnin theorems actually helps to simplify a circuit and is very important in circuit analysis. So, a large circuit can be replaced by a single independent voltage source and a single resistor for single resistor means for DC uh, circuit right and this replacement technique is a powerful tool in circuit design right. So, for finding the your Thibnin resistance R Thibnin we need to consider two cases. Case 1 if the network has no dependent sources right uh, then turn off all the independent sources then determine R Thibnin which is the input resistance of the network looking between terminals 1 and 2 and shown, shown as shown in figure 19 B that I have that circuit as I have told you right. Now, if the network has dependent sources turn off all independent sources right. If you have a dependent sources look uh, if you have a dependent sources you will turn off all independent sources now. Now, this when dependent sources is there technique of getting R thibnin is slightly different it is in words I am telling, but when you take numerical it will be totally transparent right. But you have to turn off all independent sources, but not the dependent sources right. Now, apply now what you have to do is now you have to apply a voltage source V 0 at terminals 1 and 2. This voltage source this voltage V 0 you apply at terminal 1 and 2. This value of V 0 is up to you you can put any value V 0 is equal to 0 0.1 volt or 1 volt or 2 volt any volt any value you put it right and obtain the resulting current then you obtain the I 0 after putting this later we will see circuit another thing after putting this you find out what is I 0 then R thibnin will be V 0 by I 0 if you put a your voltage your what you call that your voltage uh, source V 0 right. Similarly, just let me clear it. Similarly, you can do it alternatively a current source also a current source also you can make it. Uh, for example, a current source also I 0 can be inserted at terminal 1 and 2 either voltage or current it does not matter as shown in 20 B I will come to that then fix then find the voltage V 0 and R thibnin is equal to V 0 by R 0 uh, any value of I 0 1 ampere 2 ampere it does not matter it is up to you, but ultimately your uh, R thibnin will remain, remain same right from your linearity property both the approaches give identical results we may assume any value of V 0 and I 0 that any value of V 0 and I 0 you can assume. For example, we may use V 0 is equal to 10 volt or I 0 is equal to 1 ampere or any unspecified values of V 0 or I 0 right. So, that means in that means whenever you have this circuit suppose suppose this circuit you have all the independent sources are set equal to 0 that is turned off but here you have a dependent source right in that case you can connect a voltage source V 0 across 1 and 2 and find out your I 0 this current and this V 0 you can assume whatever you want 1 volt 2 volt it does not matter ultimately R thibnin will be V 0 by R 0 I sorry I 0 right. Similarly, your either you can put a current source across 1 and 2 and solve the circuit then find out what is V right and then you can find out what is R thibnin it should be V here it is V 0 and here it is uh, after making this I 0 you find out suppose this suffix should be taken as V 0 right. So, you find out R thibnin is equal to V 0 by I 0. So, then this I 0 value can be any value 0 0.1 ampere 0 0.5 1 ampere it is up to you and you will get whatever value you take R thibnin you will get the same thing, but if you have a your what you call that dependent voltage or current sources right. So, only independent sources will be turned off, but dependent sources for dependent sources you have to add out this this uh, technique if circuit contains dependent sources that is dependent voltage or dependent current sources right. 
So, to get this arthibnin, so let me clear it. So, but one interesting thing is there it may happen it may happen that for the this this may happen if the circuit has your dependent sources. So, uh, sir arthibnin may have a negative value the negative value means it is written V is equal to minus I R implies that the circuit is supplying power and right. So, and this is possible in a circuit with dependent sources. So, in the in that case it may happen that Thibnin's theorem if the circuit has dependent sources and you try to find out R Thibnin. So, R Thibnin may become negative also in that means the circuit actually is your what you call that supplying power and this is possible in a circuit with dependent sources. So, deep with dependent sources the R Thibnin may become negative also one example is there later right that where R Thibnin is negative it may happen. So, this example say for example, find the Thibnin equivalent circuit of the circuit shown in figure 21 to the left of the terminals 1 2 right and then find current through R L is equal to 8 ohm resistance right. So, this is the circuit this is your uh, circuit. So, this is terminal 1 and 2 using Thibnin theorem you have to find out the current through this then you have to find out the current I L say through 8 ohm resistance uh, your 8 ohm resistance uh, using Thibnin's theorem. So, first what you have to do is you have to open this one you have to open this right and then uh, after that you have to find out your Thibnin vo uh, voltage V Thibnin is equal to V O C the open circuit voltage because as soon as you will open it it will be open and you have to find out R input that is R Thibnin. So, how you will do it? So, if you go to this right equivalent of two step you have to uh, two things you have to obtain one is V Thibnin and there is R Thibnin, but first you have to open this R L from terminal 1 and 2 and if you open this one uh, for this one you open and for getting your R Thibnin all the independent sources are turned off right that means here this uh, this uh, this voltage source uh, to get this is open this is open right and you have to get that input resistance R Thibnin right you have to get it. So, this should be open because current source should be open and this voltage source it has to be sorted it has to be sorted then only you will get that e equivalent uh, circuit because all independent sources must be turned off. So, this has to be removed and this has to be sorted then you find out what is the equivalent resistance R Thibnin. So, let me clear it. So, this is what uh, uh, this is uh, what uh, uh, we have drawn it here. So, current source is open and this voltage source is uh, voltage source is sorted right and, and uh, looking from in between terminal 1 and 2 you will get the R Thibnin uh, right and other case that your you have to find out that uh, this uh, V Thibnin you have to obtain. So, uh, across this across this thing there was 8 ohm resistance this 8 ohm resistance was there no in that that is actually open this is open. So, as soon as you open it this is V Thibnin means V O C that is open circuit. So, let me clear it. So, this is actually V O C and rest of the circuit will remain intact. So, that two uh, your this 2 ampere independent current source and this thing. So, you have from here you will get R Thibnin and from here solving this circuit you will get V Thibnin note that as it is open no current is flowing through this to uh, flowing through that 2.5 ohm resistor right. So, what now what is R Thibnin? So, this 2 ohm and 6 ohm these two are in parallel right therefore, they are equivalent to that means total R Thibnin will be your 6 into 2 divided by your 6 plus 2 this two are with that 2.5 is in series plus 2.5 right. So, that is actually is equal to it is 12 by 8. So, that is 3 by 2 1.5. So, that is 1.5 plus 2.5 is equal to 4 ohm that means this R Thibnin is equal to 4 ohm right. So, for independent sources should be turned off to get the your R Thibnin. So, this is your R Thibnin later solution is there later I have made it, but this is R Thibnin. Now, let me clear it and when you will come here for V Thibnin we have uh, taken the loop current right and you have to you have to find out what you have to solve this circuit and you have to find out what is your uh, what is your V Thibnin. 
So, so many circuits we have solved uh, right and uh, your uh, so easily you can find out what is the voltage right. So, for example, here I have written for your this thing mesh equation. So, uh, here your if you apply your KVL in this loop this current is 2 ampere upwards we have taken I 2 like this I 2 like this. So, basically I 2 going downwards. So, I 2 actually is equal to minus 2 ampere right. So, if you apply so I 2 is known. So, only you have the, the next is you have to find out I 1. So, you have to apply your uh, KVL in this loop. So, in this mesh so, it will be your 2 and I 1 is flowing like this 2 I 1 it will be 2 I 1 plus it will be I 1 downwards I 2 upwards. So, it will be 6 into I 1 minus I 2 right and it is encountering minus terminal first minus 16 is equal to 0 hope I have not missed anything right. So, from this I 2 is known if you put I 2 is equal to minus 2 here it will be 6 into I 1 plus 2 and from that you can solve it what is I 1 right. So, let me clear it. So, this is your I 1 is solved. So, I 1 we got uh, use writing same equation we got that I 1 is equal to 0.5 ampere right. So, that much we got next is that you have to your what you call you have to find out. So, I 1 is equal to your I 1 we got is equal to 0 0.5 ampere. So, now you have now you can easily find out what will be your uh, what will be your V thevenin the way you want you can uh, the way you want you can uh, find it out right. For example, there there in that in that problem I have taken your uh, that your KVL uh, your KVL like this. So, if you make it current through this is 0 right. So, it is open circuit. So, nothing is there. So, if you make it like this take it in, in your, your what you call in the downwards it will be 6 into that I 1 minus I 2 minus V thevenin is equal to 0 because minus ta, ta your uh, terminal encountering fast right. So, you can easily find out uh, your I 2 is minus 2 uh, that is your what you call it will be uh, 2 and I 1 is 0 0.5. So, 2.5 into 6. So, V thevenin will be is equal to 15 volt V thevenin will be 15 volt right. So, similarly if you want to find out you can put uh, KVL in the in this loop also the way you want you can do it you will get the same result. So, let me clear it. So, that is why V thevenin we got your 15 volt here it is 15 volt I showed you that here it is 15 volt right here and current I 1 is 0 0.5 ampere. So, after getting V thevenin and R thevenin, R thevenin we have got your 4 ohm right. So, after getting V thevenin and R, R thevenin let me clear it. So, this is the thevenin equivalent thevenin equivalent circuit. So, this V thevenin your V thevenin 15 volt we got and R thevenin these two are there along with that this R L is equal to 8 ohm will be in series. Right, that means I L will be is equal to your I L will be is equal to V thevenin divided by R thevenin plus your your R L. Right, that is your I L. R thevenin uh, plus your R L. Right. So that that one V thevenin is your 15 volt divided by R thevenin is 4 plus it is 8. So 15 by your 12. So that is 1.25 ampere. Right. So, this way you will get the current through R L using Thevenin's theorem. So, now this is what similarly if you this is you got whatever using Thevenin's theorem. Now, this circuit the way we have earlier learned nodal analysis or mesh analysis same way you solve and find out what is the your your what you call R uh, R L uh, current through R L you will get the same answer identical answer right. And if this R L is variable, if this R L is changing again and again, suppose I R L is 8, suppose why Thevenin's theorem is important? Suppose R L is 8 ohm you have taken. Now, if you change the R L is equal to 10 or R L is equal to say 6, right? Every time you are changing R L, that means previous analysis, nodal analysis or mesh analysis or superposition, whatever we have done, every time you have to solve the whole circuit. Every time you are solving the whole circuit, right? But in this case suppose our interest to find out what is current I L for different values of R L 
then equivalent v thibnin or r thibnin we have got. So, using the simple series circuit by just changing R L, we can get the current to R L if it is if R L is a variable, variable symbol is like this, right. So, that is the advantage of Thibnin's theorem. So, let me go to this thing. So, this is your Thibnin equivalent. Now, question is if suppose this R L is changed, suppose R L you take 10 ohm, R L you can take 6 ohm, suppose this R L is changing. So, using this using this your uh, using this I L is equal to V Thibnin right divided by R Thibnin plus your R L right. So, V Thibnin is fixed R Thibnin is fixed only R L is changing using the simple circuit you can calculate the current. So, no need to solve the whole circuit again and again. So, this is the advantage major advantage of Thibnin's equivalent circuit ok. So, let me clear it. So, that means, only R L you are changing again and again. So, if you do so, you will get this uh, this thing. Now, another thing is determine V Thibnin of example 9 using nodal analysis right. So, this is actually example 9, this is your example 9 right. So, you have been asked that for this thing you find out V Thibnin using nodal analysis uh, using uh, your what you call uh, you, this circuit only. So, a circuit remains same example 10 circuit remains same only thing is that you have to obtain V Thibnin using nodal analysis right. So, let us go to that. So, in this case you ignore that 2.5 ohm resistor since no current flows through figure 23 right because this uh, your what you call this is your uh, this is no current is flowing through this because it is open. So, you can ignore this and whenever we take V Thibnin uh, your uh, your uh, like this that means, that means this is your V Thibnin arrow means I told you plus. So, it is V Thibnin and it no current is flowing to this. So, you can ignore this and this is this is not required you can ignore this for example right and this is a this terminal is a common terminal. So, whatever V Thibnin is here V Thibnin is here same thing no electrical uh, your devices or element is connected here right. So, this is your V Thibnin. So, this will be your V Thibnin. So, easily you can uh, easily you can find out how uh, using nodal analysis. So, let me clear it. So, in that case what you what you can uh, do is. So, this is V Thibnin means this is your plus and this is your V Thibnin and this is your ground uh, minus. So, first uh, you apply your K V L air say current flowing through this is I for example say current flowing in this direction is I. Then same as before for nodal analysis we have seen. So, it will be 2 into I then this is plus. So, plus V Thibnin encountering minus terminal first minus 16 this is 16 volt it is. So, minus 16 is equal to 0 right. From here you will get I is equal to 16 minus V Thibnin divided by 2 this is the current I that the moving going to this terminal this uh, this node right. So, let me clear it. So, it will be your uh, that means, in this node you apply KCL. So, current through this we just saw 16 minus V Thibnin divided by 2 this is the current going and here it is going V Thibnin divided by 6 right this current uh, this is resistance of 6 ohm and 2 ampere this is nothing actually this is nothing. So, 2 ampere actually entering here right it is entering here that means, this current this is entering this is entering that means, 2 plus 16 minus V Thibnin divided by 2 is equal to V Thibnin divided by 6 right. So, the if you solve this you will get V Thibnin if you solve it. So, let me clear it. So, this is this is what we have done it look 16 minus V Thibnin upon 2 plus 2 is equal to V Thibnin upon 6. After solving this we will get same result V Thibnin is equal to 15 volt right. So, next another one is determine Thibnin equivalent circuit of this figure here our dependent voltage source is there one independent current source is there right. So, what you have to do is this this is a dependent voltage source and this is a dependent voltage source this is V x 
and V x is here, V x is here across voltage uh, drop across 4 ohm resistance right and this is the terminal 1 to you have to find out the Thibnin equivalent circuit that is your V Thibnin and your R Thibnin right and one independent current source is there. So, let me clear it. So, here if you go to this that it is look here you have a dependent voltage source right. So, when you try to find out R Thibnin this independent current source should be turned off right independent current source should be turned off it should not be there, but input across 1 and 2 either you current a current source whatever ampere you want uh, the value and or a voltage source right and then you have to get R Thibnin. So, let me clear this. So, if you come to this it is a dependent source right. So, if you come to this look this uh, your uh, this current source is switched off it is not there 5 ampere it should not be there it should be turned off it is open right. But input what we have done is we have connected a voltage source V 0 is equal to 1 volt 1, 2, 3, 4 whatever you want it does not matter some numerical value you do and you have to solve this circuit to get the R thibrin that means whenever dependent source is coming that numericals becoming little bit uh, uh, complicated, but easiest way to do it right. So, you have 3 your 3 loops we have taken 3 mesh we have taken it is 1 uh, uh, this is 1 uh, this is 1 loop this is 2 and all these things you please apply KVL and solve it probably I have not solved it for you only I will give you the final answer. So, you write down KVL for uh, mesh 1 KVL for mesh 2 and KVL for mesh 3 and accordingly and V 0 is equal to you take 1 volt and after that you solve for I 0 right. So, if you do so if you do so you will get I 0 is equal to 1 6 ampere this is I am leaving up to you you please solve it and, uh, and also you find out what is V x value there is there, there an exercise for you and you solve it uh, to save the time some cases I have made it like this particularly for AC circuit single phase 3 phase I have to uh, give everything then I have to give the solution solution you please do it of your own. So, here also you please write uh, your all KVL equation and solve for I 0 here actually only one thing is here only one thing is here I 3 we have taken like this and I 0 is uh, your what you call upward it is going downward that means your I 0 is equal to minus I 3 right that is all and clear it. So, in this case you will get I 0 is equal to 1 upon 6 ampere and R Thibnin is equal to V 0 I 0 V 0 we have taken 1 volt and I 0 is equal to 6 it will be 6 ohm you take any value it is a linear circuit V 0 1 volt 2 volt does not matter. So, you will get this one similarly to get Thibnin we solve for V O C of the circuit shown in figure your this thing right. So, when you are when you are and answer is 20 volt here also you please solve when you are obtaining that V O C you please oh that V Thibnin voltage you please solve this circuit you please solve this circuit right. So, here uh, this current is taken like this this is also upward. So, I 1 is equal to 5 ampere right. So, the way the way I have told you that nodal analysis may you please solve it after after solving this you find out V Thibnin V Thibnin means this is plus and this is your minus as usual and after this and it is open circuit. So, no current uh, no current is flowing through this 2 ohm resistance that means uh, that means if you apply your what you call uh, wha how to find out V Thibnin that means this terminal is same this this and this is same right. So, that means V Thibnin will be if you apply your KVL like this it will be current I 2 is going like this it will be 6 I 2 minus V Thibnin is equal to 0 that means V Thibnin is equal to 6 I 2 right is equal to 6 I 2. So, solution is given uh, so, please solve this one here solution is given that V O C is equal to 20 volt that is V Thibnin is equal to V O C means V Thibnin right 20 volt. So, Thibnin equivalent shown in figure. So, this is you please solve it right I am giving you this thing. So, this is actually your Thibnin equivalent circuit uh, that is your 20 volt and 6 ohm and this is the terminal one right and another thing is if this one you want to suppose convert it to your current source. Uh, right that actually uh, this one if you if you transform into current source. So, plus look at the terminal. So, this is your uh, this will be your 20 by 6 ampere right 
if you want to convert it to current source later we will see this much and this will be your 6 ohm resistance. So, it will be 10 by 3 ampere right. So, if you this uh, this Thibnin equivalent if it is converted to a, your what you call a current source then 6 ohm will be in parallel right with this thank you very much we will be back again.